Good afternoon, Suburban Outsiders. This is your boy Lloyd. And uh, the summer is leaving. I'm assuming the spring is leaving. The summer is coming. And temperatures are heating up. So you're wondering how can you keep your rabbits cool. I've got a few tips for you today. And if you like this type of information, uh, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. But uh, what I usually do to feed my rabbits is different than most people. And most people will probably uh, pamper their rabbits a lot more than I do. Um, they will give them fans and uh, you know, micro fans and big box fans. Box fans I really wouldn't suggest in just my opinion because they just produce too much wind. And even on a summer day, a hot summer day when it's 90 degrees... Uh, rabbits enjoy the cool wind from the fan but if they have no way to escape from it because it's encompassing their entire environment uh, it's just not comfortable for them in most cases at least from what I experienced because I've tried it before um, and then you have these little micro fans you know computer fans that you can put on each cage and provide a little bit of uh, wind so that they can escape from, from the heat um, those are a little bit better uh, but they cost money. They cost electricity. Either you have to buy a solar panel and hook all that stuff up and be at least, you know, equipped to do so. Or you have to plug it into your house somewhere and you have to keep your hutch close to your house. Um, there is also other options which I employ, which is adding ice. And ice, I usually will... Um, get some cubes, some ice cubes. If you have an open uh, thing like this, water like this, you can just put some ice cubes inside, fill it all the way up. Early in the morning is the best time to do this because uh, it's still cooler. Um, and then you can just fill it all the way up and leave just a teeny bit of water and it'll melt because the water is warmer than the ice cubes it will melt the ice cubes slowly is where, the, is where the ambient temperature outside of it will melt the ice cubes slowly and rabbits really don't drink a whole lot of water um, they drink a lot throughout the day but they don't drink constantly like a whole bunch of water like ounces so uh, having it melt slowly will allow them to continuously have ice cold um, water for them to drink um, I also like these little little things right here. These little circular ice cubes that give you like half, half cubes. And uh, I, I don't, my, my old lady bought these, so I don't know where she got them from. But uh, they're small, so in case you have one of these waters where you have, you can't open it from the top. You have to open open it from where the opening is. Excuse me one quick. All you have to do is just take off the top. Before you take this lid off, you just pour some hot water over it. It'll go through these little holes um, for probably about a minute, and it will shrink these a tiny bit, which will then allow you to fit them in these just barely. So you put it in there, and then I smash it down, and then it goes inside the hole. Um... But yeah, you just water them down and they work a little bit better. So you can put those inside your water bottle and fill them up. The same thing applies. Uh, put just, you know, fill it up all the way and leave. Don't leave it empty. Put some water. Um, and I usually put some warm water, lukewarm water in there. And that helps it. The other thing you can do is you can just take these little bitty water bottles. The bigger the water bottle, the better. Um, I would say a two liter would be awesome, especially if you have colonies or you have um you know nursing rabbits uh, you just throw it in there and they will gravitate to it they'll lick on it um they'll lay next to it they'll enjoy it and it'll keep them cool but the downside of these things is putting those plastic things in there they may get a little you know active and uh, actually chew through the plastic and then you have to replace the bottle you can't refreeze it but that is just, you know, a few things that you can do to keep your rabbit cool. Um, if you have any questions about anything or if you uh, have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. 
And once again, uh, if you can, hit the like button. Um, and if you enjoy this con content, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.